Now we're hearing Kiss You Banks? Chris You Banks? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and GM. Praise God to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Check this out, dog. Like, this this, this can't be real, man. You know, uh, y'all know how I feel about my boy, Saul Canelo Alvarez, man. Old Cinnamon, man. That's one of my favorite fighters, you know what I'm saying? Uh, him and Tank Davis currently right now. But forget all that, man. You know what's crazy, man? It has just been announced. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that he has a potential suitor for his upcoming fight, man. So I want to go through, you know, some of the people that have been announced for him to potentially fight, you know. First dude was William Skull. You know, I was like, hmm, I don't really know William Skull that well, but he's an IBF mandatory. You know, he defended you mandatory. Okay, cool. Then it was Edgar Berlanga. And I was like, well, he don't really deserve it. But, you know, you know, this is boxing. We're going to explore and take advantage of the cultural, ethnic dynamic, you know, with the rivalry between the Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. So I was like, oh, OK, I get it. But then I like Jamal Charlo. I was like, well, you know, Jamal Charlo, he hasn't been fighting for a while. You know, he's been on sabbatical, you know, going through mental health issues, which where, where we wish him well, very well. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, yo, this is a fight that I want to see a long time ago. It might be overdue, but if Jamal Charlo could come back and muster up what I think he can and uh, even be a shell of himself, then it should be a all right fight. So I was like, OK, cool. But now we're here in Kiss You Banks. Chris You Banks? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. I said, no, bro. Chris, you baby, Canelo, you don't went too damn far, bro. I, I hope you're trolling. You got to be trolling. Like, I, I, I can't take this. I can't defend this one, man. You know what I'm saying? You had me out there reaching and trying, you know what I'm saying? But I I, I, I can't defend this one, man. You know, Chris Eubank Jr., he's the son of the, the, the iconic uh, fighter, Chris Eubank Sr., you know, um, Jamaican English fighter. Um, and... That's about it for Chris Eubanks. That's all I can really say for him. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect. It's not like I'm disrespecting him. I don't, I'm not, my intent is not to disrespect anybody. I respect all the fighters. Chris Eubanks, he's a decent fighter, but he lost to Liam Smith, man. By stoppage, man. <laughs> I believe in the fourth round. I believe it was a fourth round TKO. I'm going off the top here, but you know, not only did Canelo beat Liam Smith, he also beat his brother. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Canelo done beat Liam and Caleb. You know what I'm saying? He done beat him and his brother. You know, and you go tell me I'm supposed to justify this? Come, come on, come on. Canelo, you got to be trolling. Like, you know, it, 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 this has to be a troll. So uh, until I actually see uh, um, uh, actual negotiations and where it says uh, 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 they add further specificity by having a date, they isolate a particular date when the next fight is coming, I'm just going to take all this as trolling and I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to take it with a grain of salt, man. There's no way he's fighting Chris Eubanks Jr., bro. Like, if he's, if he's fighting Chris Eubanks Jr., man, that, that, that is crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> I just made a video about David Benavidez on Monstro calling Canelo a duck, man. And, you know, like I said, to me, the word duck is overused in boxing communities because, you know, duck implies that you're scared, you know. I, I don't think I don't think any... And, the majority of these fighters, I don't think any of them, I don't think the majority of fighters are actually scared of other fighters, you know, it's just, you know, other reasons like business reasons or, you know, um, uh, maybe it's not an advantageous time or, you know, in negotiating between the two uh, uh, parties, you know, um, promotional and otherwise. But, yeah, I can't justify this, man. If you could justify this, man, help me out in the comments because this is crazy, bro. If he fights Chris Eubank Jr., bro, I I'm going to just whatever y'all, whatever trash y'all talk about, old cinnamon, I'm going to just let it go for about two months. <laughs> I'm going to give y'all a two-month pass to talk trash about my boy Canelo. That's it. If you talk trash further than that, I'm on your head top. But, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Rock with me as always, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. And as well, most importantly, don't forget, you know, with God, we can do anything without God. We're in nothing. Oh, also, happy, happy, happy 4th of July. You know what I'm saying? Happy Independence Day, man. Big salute to all the veterans out there. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to all the soldiers, you know, that that, that really show true courage, you know, um, both 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 past and present, active and, and inactive, uh, 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 uh uh, duty members, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, we appreciate that effort, man. For real, you stand up for a lot of us, uh, for those who can't always stand up for themselves, man. So all the good people out there, man, especially those that are soldiers, happy 4th of July. Uh, enjoy your Independence Day and hopefully you got the day off. If not, quit. <laughs> appreciate y'all. The doctor's out. Peace.
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.